Hello everyone, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we are doing what to wear on a ski trip. And I just, am, I'm on a ski trip right now, as you can probably tell. <laughs> I'm here in Park City, Utah. And I grew up skiing, I am skiing now. I've pretty much kind of skied my whole life. And I feel like there are particular things that you definitely need to know to bring on a ski trip. So I thought that I would just go through them as far as what to wear, what to pack, what not to pack, and essentials that you need for a ski trip, for being on the slopes, being in the snow, for opera ski, for all of that. So I have my suitcase beside me right now and I'm just going to go through everything. Side note, really excited that we're back with a Thursday video. <laughs> So first things first, what to wear when you're actually on the mountain skiing. So first you're going to need a ski jacket. And ski jackets can look like a variety of things. Mine is from Holland Cooper and I think it's really cute because it has this gold belt in the front and it's got the you know, hood and everything. I got so many compliments on this jacket. But essentially what you need is a jacket that's going to keep you warm enough. This one, as you can see, is like a puffer jacket. It also needs to be waterproof because you're going to be in the snow, which is wet, and you don't want something that's going to soak through and make you wet and therefore cold. So you just want a ski jacket. And I'm going to list on the screen here some of the top brands to look for a ski jacket. These are typical like ski, you know, kind of sporty brands, but you can also always, if you don't want to spend a ton, you can find ski jackets at places like H&M and ASOS and other kind of like high street, things like that. Next is obviously a pair of ski pants. So you want something other than your regular pants to keep you warm on the mountain and again that they should be waterproof and you can get ones that either fit over your uh, ski boots or under your ski boots, like in your ski boots. Mine go in your ski boots. These ones are from um, Rossignol, and I like that they're white. They're like a skinny pant, and they tuck in to the boots, which I just think is a cute style. I mean, I think a lot of people do tuck them over the boots as well, which is also cute too. But uh, yeah, this is what I like. I really love these ones. So those ones are fleece lined. So if you're looking, um, you can either get a pair of pants that are already fleece lined, or you can find a pair that are not fleece lined and you'll need to wear some thermals under them. So for example, this pair are from Athleta. I'll link these, these are great. They're also waterproof and they're just like a white skinny pant that tucks into the boots. They have a zip up on the side here and they have a pleat down the front and these also were super warm. They're not fleece lined. So the next thing that you're going to need is base layers. Base layers are essentially what just keep you warm. Um, I have this really cute set from Sweaty Betty. They're pink and white, which is <laughs> a color that I just really like, but you can find them in um, all different sorts of colors. But essentially the bottoms are like leggings. So you don't even have to buy something that says base layers. You can just wear like your regular like leggings that you would wear to the gym. <laughs> um, the point is, is that they're just kind of kind of gonna hug your body heat in and keep you warm but these ones are cute and then the matching base layer top is essentially kind of like an under armor top so if you have one of those I found these base layers at sweaty betty but you can also find base layers at um uniqlo always has good base layers in there um a pretty nice price point as well or i'm sure or like amazon or you know places like that all right so now that you've got your base layers on your pants on um, I like to put a top over the base layer, but it's up to you. You don't have to. I like to wear a sweater like this. For example, when I went skiing yesterday, I layered this ba base layer top underneath this sweater, and it was just an added extra layer of warmth. It depends on how warm it is that day. If you're skiing on a warmer day, you're doing a little bit of physical activity, so you might not want to be too warm and overheat yourself. But if it is a really cold day, then you will want that extra layer, especially when you're on the top of the mountain and it just is even colder. So I like sweaters like this just because if you layer kind of like on top of a fitted layer like this, you don't want your additional layer to be fitted because you need some like breathing room and um, you don't want to actually make yourself colder. So um, yeah, I like this one. This one I just found online from Old Navy, but honestly, there's so many sites where you can find, just type in Fair Isle sweater. 
Um, it doesn't have to be a fair house sweater, obviously. Just like a warm, kind of cozy sweater that goes on top. I have this one too. I think I got this one at H&M. Yeah. Like this one, for example, from H&M. This one has a turtleneck. So you can put this one on top of your base layer or just, you know, any kind of cozy sweater if it's a cold ski day. So next thing is the boot situation. So if you are, like, where we're staying right now, we're literally right across the street from the base of the mountain. So I could just put my ski boots on here and walk across the street and just not even worry about, you know, checking my bag or anything like that. Um, or if you want to be comfortable, then you'll want to wear like a pair of comfy boots over and then just store them in a locker or the like bag check thing that they have. That's what I did because I find that after a long day of being in those ski boots, I really just want to put my nice, fluffy, warm, like soft boots on to wear back. And anyone who's a skier probably knows exactly what I'm talking about. It's like at the end of the day, once you take your boots off, it's like the best feeling. <laughs> kind of like taking your bra off at the end of a, of a long day. So yeah, I actually, I used to own um, like skis and boots and stuff growing up, but since, since then I've just rented, so I don't actually have mine with me because today's our last day here and I returned them, but um, obviously you'll have, you can rent, you know, if you are, if it is your first time skiing or if you want to learn, you can just, you don't have to buy all of that. You can rent your boots, your skis, your poles, and even your helmet just for the day or for two days or however long you're skiing. But anyway, so if you are walking back and forth in your own boots, the boots are so cute. I love these. I feel like these are just totally the way to go. Um, side note, they're always sold out, so you have to look in like the summertime. Um, these are the Icon boots, and they are the higher ones. I also have these like shorter rose gold ones, which are super cute. I just couldn't fit them in my suitcase on the way here, but obviously you don't have to wear moon boots, but any just like warm, winter boot that you have just bring that for to and from the ski resort okay and then you need to keep your hands warm when you're especially like when you're on the mountain and you're going down and the wind is cold in your face you'll want to keep your hands warm and then also when you're just carrying your skis or taking your skis on and off it can um you can like cut your hands and it can be very very cold so it's better to just have a pair of mittens or gloves. I like these ones. I got them from Amazon. They're from Roxy and they've been perfect. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I, espe I especially love the fact that they have this little handle on them because this you just put on your wrist and I'd be like do 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 on the mountain like you know wearing my gloves and then I would be like okay I'm gonna take them off for a second to like check my phone or whatever. And I literally just go like this and they dangle here. So like if I was, this is actually really great for when you're on the ski lift because obviously you don't want to drop anything down down below because you're like really high up. Um, so yeah, if you, I just found that this was really, really helpful. So I will link these if they're still available. I actually do did get my own helmet this year. So this one is from Smith. And I like it. It's white. It's cute. It's got like the gray kind of ear warmer things on the side and it's super, it's super safe. It's got the MIPS, which is like a brain protection system. So I really like this one, but like I said, um, you can also rent your helmet. And then on top of your helmet, you're going to want a pair of goggles. So the goggles just keep your eyes from all of the snow. They also act as like sunglasses because it is so bright up there with the sun and then the white snow. It's just like you you feel like you need something like this. So yeah, there's tons of brands. I think I got this one on Amazon. It's cute. I like the pink strap and it's just super simple. I'd also really recommend that you pack hot hands. Hot hands are these packs. They just keep your hands warm. You take them out. They're a little pack. You just rip this and then you shake them and then a couple minutes later they're warm. I actually put mine in the like the end of my mittens to keep me warm. They also make toe ones with a little sticker so you can stick them to the bottom of your sock or into your ski boot and they'll keep your toes warm. So that's really helpful too. I There was a day where we were up on the mountain and it was snowing and it was freezing cold and I was so grateful that I had these. Um, so 
definitely get some hot hands. And then last thing for when you're up on the mountain is this little piece called a balaclava. You can get this, it's almost like a, like a turtleneck on its own, but you can use it to pull it up over your face if you are extra cold. I used this yesterday and um, it was such a lifesaver. It made me so much warmer. So one of these, you can also, you also see ones that go actually over your head and then you put the, your helmet on over it so you can find something like that too. I at first didn't even want one of these cause I'm like, oh no, it's gonna look silly, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> But like everybody looks silly when you're skiing, honestly, like nobody cares what you look like. There's people up there who have like the funniest outfits on. You just want to be warm, so. So yeah, that's another tip. So now on to some of the Opres ski stuff. So one thing that I found is that kind of like anywhere that you are here. Um, if you're in a ski town, it's totally normal to like wear your ski stuff to a bar or to a restaurant even, or just walking around because everybody knows this is a ski town and you probably just went skiing. <laughs> I, again, like sweaters like this. There are some, like you can find some really nice restaurants. So like I brought a nice dinner outfit and like a cute little purse. Um, so it's not all just like grungy ski stuff. You can also get really cute as well. One thing I would say maybe not to pack is a pair of heels and that's unless if you're staying in a hotel and you're going like from the hotel like to your room downstairs to eat dinner in like a nice place then wear heels but otherwise all of the streets here are like kind of muddy it's like a mud mixed with snow it's just like a brown slush and pretty much any shoes will get ruined so um, i had packed a pair of cute heels i wish that i didn't because it just took up space in my suitcase and i didn't end up wearing them depends on what your plans are but i would say instead pack a pair of cute booties um, even a pair, I wish that I had brought a pair that was like a higher, maybe like a knee-high booty to wear like under a skirt or something for dinner. These are the ones that I packed in it that I wore to dinner last night. But just like a, like a, a booty where you're covered because it's so cold in these places. I found that a lot of the restaurants, at least around here, were decently casual. So I wanted also like a sweater that wasn't as casual as something like this, but maybe a little bit more elevated. Nice for dinner, but still keeps you warm. And I got, I have this one from Club Monaco. I really like it because it's that cable knit pattern and then it has a built-in collar underneath. So it just gives it a little bit of an extra touch, which I think it's kind of nice for like a dinner and then if you're staying in like say kind of like a cabiny Airbnb like this with your friends you're gonna have some downtime behind me there's like a box of a bunch of like board games and stuff um you'll just want like cute stuff for sort of lounging around I brought this pair of sweatpants which is a little bit more elevated they're really cute from Love Shack Fancy I love how they have these two dangly pom-poms but like, these are really cute. They're like a cashmere sweatpants, so they're really nice. Oh, and then a big one is socks. So you're going to need socks on socks on socks. These aren't even all the socks that I packed, but wool socks are great for just keeping your feet dry and also warm. And you'll want them to be high socks as well because especially if you're not tucking your ski pants into your boots, then you'll want really high ones to come up high enough above the boot. <laughs> like I got this pair, for example, that are like really high. We need some wool socks and then also some socks just for kind of like lounging around, you know, the place afterwards. Just keeping yourself warm. If you have a pair of slippers that you can fit into your suitcase, bring that. I wish that I had brought something like that. Also for the, when you're not on the mountain, keeping your head warm. I love this pair of earmuffs. I love earmuffs cause when you wear it, like you can still wear your hair in a ponytail and wear and keep your ears warm versus if you're wearing a hat, you have to take your hair down. But you do want to keep your, your, your head warm. So I don't know, something cute with a pom pom like this, I think is nice or some earmuffs. Also if we're just lounging at home, whatever, you know, pack a sweatshirt. I mean, some of these things like that are, are kind of per personal preference, but I also packed this pair of pants for the Apres Ski. It's just a pair of kind of 
cream beige-ish colored jeans. They're kind of cut off like that on the bottom, which I found were perfect. Cute with these boots paired with the sweater. And then like this is a skirt that I wore to dinner. It's like a, a light purple velvet and I just paired this with a white button up top from Saison. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Everything else like pajamas, your hair stuff, all of that's obviously personal preference, but I find that these are just sort of some things that you want to keep in mind when packing for a ski trip. Let me know if you have any questions down in the description box or if there's anything else that you love packing for a ski trip that I didn't mention. As always, don't forget to subscribe and check out the Fashion Squirrel as well over on Instagram. And hopefully I will see you guys next time. Okay. Bye.